Hi, I'm Picky Apricot Steve Andrews, and I'm going to show you how to use Moneris to accept online payments on your Wild Apricot site. Once you've integrated your Moneris account with your Wild Apricot site, visitors to your site can pay online for membership fees and event registrations and to make donations. When a visitor fills out a membership application form or event registration form and chooses to pay the invoice online, they will be directed to a secure Wild Apricot payment screen to make the payment. On the form, they fill out their credit card details and their billing information, then click the Pay button to complete the payment. After the payment is processed, the visitor is returned to the Invoices and Payments tab on their member profile, where the invoice will appear, along with a payment entry if the payment was successful. For security reasons, credit card information is not stored in Wild Apricot. Instead, Moneris receives and processes the payment details, then returns the status of the payment transaction, which is recorded in your transaction details. Before you can set up your Wild Apricot site to accept online payments through Moneris, you must have an eSelect Plus merchant account. While setting up your eSelect Plus account, be sure to activate the eFraud option. To integrate your eSelect Plus account with Wild Apricot, you will need your store ID and API token. Your store ID is contained in the welcome message you receive from Moneris and is the same one you use to log into your Moneris administration panel. To find your API token, log into your Moneris account, click the Admin tab, then Store Settings. The 20-digit API token will appear or can be generated on this screen. Once you have set up your eSelect Plus account, you can integrate it into your Wild Apricot site. To begin, sign into your Wild Apricot site as an administrator, then click Settings. Under Finances, click Payment Settings. On the Payment Settings screen, click the Edit button. Click the Payment System drop down list and select Moneris. If you want to begin accepting online payments immediately, click the Live Radio button. If you want to test your settings using test or sandbox accounts provided to you by your payment provider, click the Test slash Sandbox Radio button. While in test mode, your payment provider will accept or decline your test transactions, as it would live transactions, but will not charge any credit cards or update any bank accounts. Wild Apricot will, however, create payment records as it would with live transactions. In the Store ID field, enter the Store ID associated with your eSelect Plus account. Now, enter your API token. Next, indicate whether your merchant account is located in the US or Canada. Now, select the credit card types you want your site to accept. These should match the ones you have set up in your eSelect Plus account. To make sure your account details are valid, click Validate Account. If the account validation fails, check to make sure you entered the account details properly. Next, click the default country drop-down list and select the country where the majority of your visitors reside. Your selection will appear as a default country to your customers. Now, select the currency you want to use in your transactions. You shouldn't change your currency after you've begun accepting online payments since existing payment records will not be recalculated. In the Payment Instructions fields, add payment instructions to be displayed to your customers. Finally, click Save Changes. Your Wild Apricot site can now begin accepting online payments through your Moneris account. A Pay Online button will appear after a visitor to your site clicks the Confirm and Proceed with Payment button while applying for membership or registering for an event. For more information, see Wild Apricot's online help or contact our support department. 
Thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful.